I just snap, you know, like right then and there. Hold up. What? Excuse me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jessica, and today I am going to be doing a question and answer. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had anything you wanted to know, and I have a lot, a lot of questions, so I'm just gonna get right on into them. Okay, so the first one is, since you have two mini me's, as a little girl, what did you wanna be when you grew up? That's a good question. I've always wanted to be, as long as I can remember, a mom and a wife. And I've always expressed an interest for um, like decorating and cleaning and rearranging furniture and all that. Even before I knew what that was, I was doing things like that. Like I would draw floor plans and notebooks and I played baby dolls. I was very big into baby dolls. Um, I played outside a lot as Laura Ingalls and I played a mom. I was Laura Ingalls, but I was a mom. I don't really know what, how that worked out, but yeah, I just always wanted to be a mom and a wife. Somebody asked if Madeline and Kinsley were boys, what would their names be? Um, that is a good question too. I really don't know because my husband and I could not agree on a boy's name to save our life. Either time, um, before we knew the girls were girls, we tried to pick out like a girl name and a boy name so we could name the baby as soon as we found out. And we never agreed, ever. His names were ridiculous. They were like from eight, the 1800s. And um, I had a couple that I liked for boys. One was Jackson and one was Easton. I liked Colton. Um, those are the ones I remember the most, but he hated all of those. <laughs> so that's probably, if, I, if it was just up to me, I probably would have named him them like Jackson and Easton. Do you budget and if so, do you have any helpful tips? Um, I'm not a good budgeter. I know that that's like big here on YouTube, people budgeting and things like that. I've never, we've never really budgeted. The way that it works without going like into like a whole bunch of detail because I don't want this to be super long, but the way that it works in our family is I pay all the bills and so I've been doing it for so long that I know what goes out when and how much it's going to be and I know how much we're going to spend on groceries and um, how much we're going to spend on gas and I kind of just know in my head like we can afford that, we can't afford that, if that makes sense. So I kind of just know the flow of things. We have a steady income with my husband being in the military, it's pretty much, you know, it's the same thing every pay period. So I know what's coming in and what's going out and it's all just kind of right here. So not, we don't really budget. Who are your favorite YouTubers and how did you choose your girl's names? Um, I have a lot of favorite YouTubers. Love Meg. Um, I like Erica Lee. I like, um, of course I've got my girls, Mrs. Davis and Katie Satilli and Tiffany that I love. And then also to mention some um, like to mention an upcoming I guess up and coming youtuber that I really really like and her channel is still really small But I can really see her going places. I stumbled across her. I don't even know how I stumbled across her I think she might have been just one of my sweet subscribers that like messaged me a lot on Instagram And then I found out that she had a YouTube channel and I was like, oh my gosh, where have I been? But anyways, her name is Caitlin Gamber and her YouTube channel is mommy in the making and she is so so sweet and so genuine and she is just starting her YouTube journey but I'm already obsessed with her channel I watch all of her videos and so I will leave her channel linked for you guys below actually if you want to go check that out because I think that sometimes when I think we can overlook some really awesome youtubers because they might be still in the beginning stages and they're really small and they don't come up in our suggested videos and we've never even heard of them but there are some really great women out there making videos that we don't even know about. So this is just kind of my way of helping get out somebody <laughs> that's not quite out there yet. But I do think she will be out there in a hot minute. Oh, and then you asked me, um, how did you choose your girl's names? Okay, so Madeline, um, I used to be a nanny. So the little girl that I nannied for, the first ever nanny job I had, her name was Madison. And my sister's middle name is Lynn so Madeline 
that's how her name came about because I loved my little Madison that I nannied for. She was so sweet. And then um, Kensley's actually has a ton of meaning. meaning. My uh, father-in-law passed away when I was nine months pregnant with Madeline and his name was Kenneth. And so Kensley's name is Kensley after him. I just wanted a girl version of his name and that's the one we came up with. Oh, somebody asked what is my middle name? My middle name is Christine and Madeline's is Christine as well and my grandmother's name is or was Christine as well. So, and then I also named Madeline, Madeline Christine, not only because my middle name is Christine, but because it has Chris in it and her daddy's name is Chris. So I thought that was kind of cool. What budget health and beauty products do you use? I don't use any budget things. We, we went over that. And then beauty products, I use a ton. I have so much makeup. I need to make a video on it. I've been meaning to do that. I still need to do it, but I don't have like one brand that I just like stick to or anything. Um, I use everything. I love to try new makeup and stuff. So let's see. How did you, another budget question. How do you budget things? Do you have a certain amount weekly to spend on groceries, etc.? Well, we typically buy the same things every week which sounds really boring but it's just true so i pretty much know how much we're going to spend on groceries every week so i don't budget for that but it's just i guess we're like very consistent typical like people something that you did when you were little that now you see your kids doing um well my mom always tells me that madeline is just like me when i'm complaining that she's being rotten and mom's like oh i wonder where she got that from um, let's see, Madeline acts a lot like I used to, and I feel like I'm being put on the spot because I can't even think of anything. Um, Madeline's sensitive like I was and still am. Like, if you look at her wrong, she'll cry. Literally, if I'm sitting in a traffic light and the person next to me looks at me wrong, I'll start bawling. Fun fact. That's true. Um, Kinsley, I don't know. I don't feel like Kinsley acts like me at all. Kinsley is her own person. What are your thoughts on your kids having their own social media? Well, as far as now, obviously no, because they're young. Um, as Madeline gets older, I'm sure that's going to be something that comes up. And it's, it's a fine line because when we grew up, like our generation, you know, smartphones and the internet and... Um, Facebook and all that weren't a thing so we can't like really base it off of our childhood it's just all new it's really scary thing so I would probably start really slowly by letting her have maybe an Instagram that I monitored I'd have the password to it I'd follow her on it and I would go on it regularly and look and yes I am that mom I mean obviously when she's like an older teenager but if she's like a preteen or early it's something that I may slowly let her have but will be monitored very closely if that makes sense what did you do in your 20s like after you graduated high school college jobs etc okay after I graduated high school so I actually was married before I graduated high school I was 17 when we got married and we moved to Colorado and I I was homeschooled so I finished my school at home and um, I have a high school diploma it was all through like a satellite school so I would do the school and then scork and then send to them and they would grade it and um, yeah so I didn't go to college because I was married that's not really an excuse but I didn't go to college I've never wanted to go to college I've always like I said earlier just wanted to be a housewife and a mom so um, I felt like that was a waste of money for me because I knew that as soon as I had kids I would want to be home with them but I did work um, I was a a housekeeper at a couple of different hotels. I was a childcare, um, like an assistant in the classroom at a couple different places. And then I was a nanny to um, a couple of kids. And then once they moved, I became a nanny for a pediatrician for her little boy. So um, yeah, pretty much cleaning and taking care of babies. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite thing to do with your family? Um, I like to go floating down. We have like um, like the backwaters of our river right down the road and it's a big thing here where I live. Everybody goes floating so we just buy these um, floats and sit in them and float down the river and currently now that the weather is nice that's my favorite thing to do.
When and how did your anxiety start? What are techniques you use to help manage it? I think that I've always had anxiety, but when I remember like the big like breakdowns, because I've had panic attacks as well, which I don't get often, but I do have panic attacks. Um, those started when we, before we had kids and my husband is in the military and for what he does in the military he had to go to a lot of schools and um, I was 19 and I lived 10 hours from home and I had no friends or family and he wasn't allowed to contact me for six weeks at a time no letters no emails no phone calls literally zero contact I was 19 alone in a town I knew no one and I was a nanny so I worked from home so um, I had a panic attack I remember my first one during that time and I don't know I'll get into this in like my anxiety video that I definitely want to make but I think that this lifestyle triggers a lot of anxiety for me because I suffer from um, abandonment issues and he's gone a lot so I don't like being alone and I'm alone a lot so if that makes sense and like I said I'll get into that more in a video just for that what is it like being a military wife what branches your husband in have you had to move around a lot in the army yes we've moved around a lot this is our third duty station we were in Colorado and then we were in North Carolina and now we're in Tennessee and um, what is it like being a military wife it's hard um, you're alone a lot you learn to become independent whether you want to or not um, but there are definitely perks to it but yeah I guess overall I would just say it's really hard being a military wife how was high school for you did you love it or hate it play sports um, I was homeschooled through high school I was homeschooled from fourth grade on um, but I still had like a group of friends I had friends that went to my local public school and I had like a homeschool group so I was still really active in all that I played soccer for um, our county so I mean I didn't like have the high school experience so I think that's what you were asking Lindsay when you asked me that I was homeschooled so I, I was like you can't like put me into a category if I was like the outcast or the popular kid or whatever um, I think in school though overall I was pretty much a weirdo like I know that might be hard for some of you to believe but I was kind of a weirdo just because I'm really quiet and believe that or not I'm pretty quiet so I think that I was just maybe like overlooked a lot was I smart in school um, mm, I, I would say I'm, I was average. I made like A's and B's. There was nothing spectacular. I don't think I graduated with like a 4.0 or anything. You were able to decorate your house with so many gorgeous things living on a budget. You know I love your home, decor, and need tips. That's a good question. And I get that a lot. Like in my personal life, people will come in and say, wow, you know, your house is so pretty. Did you just go out and do this? And the answer is no. Um, it takes time to decorate a room. Um, it takes a lot of time so I will just slowly start picking things up like if I know that I'm wanting to go towards this goal in my mind then I slowly start picking things up I always buy things on sale I almost always have a coupon so if it's at Hobby Lobby I get it 50% off when it's on sale or if I just have to have it and it's not on sale I'll use their 40% off coupon or I shop at Kirkland's which they are very reasonably priced anyways they have a military discount and they always 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 have a coupon so and then I shop at like Walmart and Target and things like that or I like will spray paint my camera cut off but anyways I will spray paint things or use things from other rooms to bring in to make it like new for me but yeah um I just say that it just takes time and it might seem to other people like I have done it overnight but it's really um it's not like that at all I would love to be able to go into a room and just redo it go to Hobby Lobby go to Kirkland's buy everything I want come home and put it all up but in reality it took over several months I was buying that stuff and changing it out and then eventually it just came became what my goal in my head was if that makes sense what's your favorite favorite perfume at the moment and do you want more children um, my favorite perfume has always been Love Spa. I've worn that since I was a teenager. Just kind of 
spray some body spray on me or whatever, but that's always been my favorite. And do you want more children? No, we do not want more children. We are done. I've had a long journey to get to where I am with the two healthy, beautiful, perfect children that I have that I'm completely satisfied. Where did you and your husband meet? How long did you guys date before getting married? We met at his brother married my cousin and we met at their wedding. Um, I was 16. He had just turned 17 and we saw each other there. It was like love at first sight. I know some people believe in that and some don't. I didn't until it happened to me. Our eyes met. This sounds so corny, but our eyes met, they locked and that was it. Like literally that was it. We've been together ever since I was 16 and he was 17 and then we got married let's see we met in May of 2002 and we got married in June of 2003 how do you handle when your oldest talks back my oldest is nine and she's driving me nuts with the back talk love your channel it's the age it's not the child it's the age and I have to remind myself that too um, they're kind of at this age where they feel like they're they have more of their own opinions and things like that and so they challenge us a lot and it's challenging but um i don't i wouldn't say that i'm like perfect at how i handle it by any means sometimes how i handle it is by screaming at her um sometimes i handle it by saying just go away from me like let me cool down um i don't know like if she's getting real snotty she gets yelled at and sent to her room to think about it or if it's really bad, you know, she'll get punished, like take away her iPad or something like that. But the back talk is real. Um, I just snap, you know, like right then and there, hold up, what, excuse me, like, and give her a chance to go back and fix herself. And sometimes that fixes the problem. She's like, oh crap, <laughs> I need to rethink how I'm going about this. What is your go-to family meal that everyone loves? Um, I would say spaghetti. And I need to make that here on my channel and I've been meaning to forever, but honestly, we had had it so much through the summer or like the spring summer that I think we kind of got sick of it, but it, that's super easy to make and my entire family loves it. You are a military family, right? Did you already PCS a lot, which means move. If you don't know what PCS means, it's a permanent change of duty station. I think that's what it means. What's the actual meaning for PCS? I might be wrong on exactly like what those initials stand for, but it does mean to to move station. So your husband or your wife or whoever is stationed somewhere and you get orders and to move somewhere else and that's called PCSing. So in case you didn't know, so she says, did you already PCS a lot? If yes, wh where have you been? So I already answered that question. Um, which one was your favorite? This one here is our favorite by far and we've been here the longest. What are some of your favorite holiday family traditions? That would be that the kids always get to open a present on Christmas Eve and it's always pajamas so that they look cute for their pictures in the morning. We do the elf on the shelf and that's been really fun as well. Okay guys, so this video is gonna be way, way, way long. I didn't realize I was gonna get so many great questions. So I think I'm gonna split this into two and I don't know if you can hear that Kensley is banging on the door actually right now. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here and then I will do a part two. But I really appreciate you guys giving me all of these questions and I promise I will get to the rest of them. I didn't overlook you, I just, I don't want this to go on forever. So anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you to check out some of my other videos and maybe stick around and subscribe if you would like to and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.